<laughs> How are you feeling? Just picked up your Model Y. Uh, excited. Excited, excited. I don't know how people talk in a, in a, you know, vlog, but I think the overall experience has been just flawless. Okay, so take us back to the ordering experience. How was that? So, <laughs> very underwhelming. Um, website popped up, said the Y was available, basically filled out the form, chose the specs, and uh, well, chose the specs and filled out the form, and then click deposit or buy, and that was it. <laughs> Very straightforward. Less, less, uh, less people interaction, more uh, form filling, you know, and yeah. very full filling. <laughs> and, and do you think like it's like it's just like buying like yeah, it's just something like, online, like 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 clothes or something? Yeah, they've just made the process like any kind of e-commerce transaction yeah. where this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna buy it. That's it. And so yeah, would, uh, if they make their website on Shopify, maybe who knows? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now. Um, how was the delivery experience? Delivery or pickup, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well, I mean, I was one of the, the lucky ones that was able to make the purchase within the first 20 minute window. All right, now walk us through the delivery. Where where did you pick this up? So, um, they have a warehouse at the moment with all the Model Y and some threes that arrived from the morning Clara. Um, the ship that came from Shanghai and they have a, you know, a separate factory uh, that's different from the Tesla display room and they had like a couple of, couple of hundred wires in there I would say if not thousands yeah you know it reminded me of like that scene I think in Fast and Furious <laughs> where like they're all like self-driving yep. kind of cars and it was like yeah. like an army basically of yeah. yeah, I mean, Elon could turn on us one day and just, yep. just do that, but he wouldn't. Um, well, who knows? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so you go there, big signs everywhere, check in, uh, person at the front greets you, gets your ID, checks you off into their system, hands you some documents, gets you to log into the app, um, to, and basically accept delivery. One push of a button and you're good to go. They hand you the keys, walk you to your car, talk you through some basic things, but there's already an assumption that you've gone through the actual manual. So what did he talk you through? Um, that this is your car. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't feel like he really talked through anything. <laughs> yeah, well the assumption is you, you've you gone, you've done your... your Wait, homework. did he ask? Like, yeah, he did. He was like, have okay. you gone through the app? I'm like, yep. He's like, good. Well, here's your car. I was like, thanks. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, in the app itself, it talks you through every single bit, like how to turn the car on, yeah. and every little thing that I'm not going to go into. Um, yeah, and once once you basically sync your phone over, walk up to the car, and you're good to go. They also show you how to use the keys as a basic functionality of opening the door and turning the car on. I think if like we didn't um, stay around, take photos, and sort of just hang Linger. out for a bit yeah. i think like honestly like it would probably take 10 minutes 10 minutes i would say tops 10 Top. minutes max yeah the, okay interesting the the lady in front of us um it was her fourth tesla wow so the person at the front was like oh this is your fourth so you know what to do she's like yep okay see ya she even said see ya to the person as soon as she did the button click to say she's accepted the vehicle like just didn't care ready to go yeah and that's how convenient it was for her where she's basically purchased something online and she's just picking it up now okay i'm gonna chime in yeah. uh, with my i mean obviously like i'm still gonna drive this car so as far as i'm part owner <laughs> um uh but also with my oh why is it like yeah probably with my experience in the automotive industry um working in dealerships and like it blows my mind how efficient it is and how they can do all of this without so many human touch points uh -huh. and so it is like some people might think that it's just very like underwhelming because like you know you get there and to be fair you're picking it up there's a, it's not flashy at all and i think that's the whole like maybe notion of it like i think it it 
there's no there's yeah there's nothing fancy there's like um it it almost like you want to say no frills but it's not no frills right like i think that there's a lot of work that goes into this so i, I appreciate the efficiency and that the that goes behind handover, yeah. that seamless experience and i think seamless that is, is like mind-blowing especially like we work in that space so yeah. like to to achieve that customer experience actually takes a lot of like Research. technology and like process yeah. like you're reimagining the process of buying a car yeah. and that is like something that hasn't changed for wow. many 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 years yeah right? like you know i i worked in in automotive and, and so even if i took care of a certain brand and like yeah well, that was like one of the more like higher end um, the brand and so of course there's a little bit more fuss over like you know when you pick up a car um, but I mean from like the ordering experience and having to come into a dealership talk to all these people and then feel like you're getting sales talked yeah. and then from a salesperson experience too like you also spend a lot of time trying to like work through the right leads uh -huh. and talking to all these people who probably aren't gonna buy a car and maybe yep. they're just bored on the weekend and so it takes all of that away like it takes away all the pain like I mean to be honest like I don't want to sit down and like listen to someone on why I should buy a car but <laughs> like no one really goes into like the, the experience is very different these days right yep. like you've already done your research you kind of already know that you want that car you're yep. probably just gonna do a test drive so yeah like I think um, from like the outside in the experience of picking up a car like and it's, it's a new car right like it's it's supposed to be a really exciting time and it is exciting but there's definitely no there's no drama there's no fanciness yeah. to it you're not getting like you don't get an umbrella you don't get like flowers there's no bow like to be honest i think they just added balloons which i don't think normally they yeah, would put balloons only there. because it's like the first batch so yeah um really. but like there's there would be nothing to it like there's just it's like even just walking through, through like the cars, I was kind of like, okay, here you go. Um, I, I think the the main thing is they know people want the car yeah. because they've also removed the referral program that they used to have, right? Where they were there was that referral process where if you refer someone, you get free charge. Oh, really? From the superchargers. Right. And now they've eliminated that last year. Similarly, their corporate programs are gone now too. Wow. Because really? yeah, Tesla found out. You know what? We don't need incentives for people to buy our cars. People want it now, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, recently, they announced the mobile chargers are no longer included, um, and that was from all, all orders after July eight. Oh. Yeah, and so now there was a price increase of the vehicles, and also now an additional fee to purchase the mobile connector. So what's a mobile connector? The mobile connector is that um, bag at the back. Yeah. And that's how you plug it in at home. So that doesn't come with it anymore. No, it doesn't. So. Only so, the first batch ended up getting it. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. And so, so you, you got it. Yeah. And so how much is that? Uh, I don't know. You got it for free. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, really interesting. And interesting, it kind of shows right? like it's like... Um, they don't need to sell. They don't, they don't need to. It, <laughs> it sells it's itself. It's so hot in the market that people will just buy it. Yeah. Um, no selling that needs to be done. Yeah, um, additionally, like the standard connectivity of this, which is the basic maps, um, that's also get, getting removed in the sense that you have to pay for it after eight years for certain vehicles, I, I believe. I'm not too sure if it's all vehicles or if it's any recent purchases that are made. So any new vehicles that are made after a certain date. I'm not too sure about the details about that, but basically you're going to have to pay for functionality in a sense, which is interesting. I mean, you get data which is not free, right? Yeah. And right now you get like, what, free maps? Yeah. And that's using internet. But I mean, considering like, you know, with the Mercedes Me app, for example. Oh yeah. That's... Like when you put that into perspective, like what you're paying here is actually, I don't think that much, right? Yeah. Like for the functionality that you get, um, how much was Mercedes Me charging you? Oh, it was after? charging me like 300 something dollars. A year? Just just for a basic functionality of locking your car from your phone yeah like that and tracking where it is but what what's what's that to me what, yeah. why would i pay an additional 300 each year 
to cover that and they only provided that to you for the first three years for free but i think now it might also be an extra thing yeah so, interesting yeah very interesting and like with mercedes me it promised all these um usage scenarios that you could do by like having mercedes yeah yeah, yeah 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 and like none of them are available here in australia oh uh, okay yeah that's that sucks so that that was silly like i couldn't even turn the car on with the app and it said you could right and so that was like very underwhelming all right well i have a call so um okay. see you soon <laughs>